Oh shit, okay, here we go. Nah, yeah. I ain't never been with a body, with a body. She comes, so I add it to the tally. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Shades of Sasha. If you're new, take a seat, put your crown on, and welcome to the gang. If you're already part of the gang, you already know what time it is. What's good, baby? So today's video is all about the makeup. It's very simple, minimalistic. You don't have to use any contour. It's just, you know, for the babes that want to do something, but don't want to do too much. And we're not adding any eyeshadow. It's just... It's just a flawless face, that's it. So if that's what you're here for, just keep on watching. So the first step in my process is I'm going to use this milk primer. Um, there is an e.l.f. dupe. It's like the jelly primer or something like that. Um, go ahead and check that out if you are interested in using the milk one, but you just think like it's probably too expensive or something. So then the next step I'm going to do is focus on my brows. And I haven't used this Anastasia Brow Freeze in a while. However, I am actually quite sad because I... <laughs> I did my maintenance wax like all of my um, eyebrows and like my chin and everything and honestly y'all I ripped off some of my eyebrows from my tailbone and I'm just kind of like really really sad about that but yeah so we're just gonna go in and do our brows after we put in the brow freeze the next step is just to add some translucent powder on top of your brows just so everything will set in and melt the way that we wanted to and last very long because I found that the Anastasia brow freeze actually started getting like a little bit oily um after a certain amount of hours so I think this is a step that will actually really really help then I'm gonna go in with ebony towards the end of my brows but in the beginning I used the chocolate to just kind of like make sure everything is not as harsh um, and dark because I wasn't really going for a super dark look I just wanted my brows to be filled in and look clean and pristine but I did not want them to be very dark so then I'm gonna go in with this NARS concealer I believe this is walnut shade into shade in walnut so I'm just gonna go ahead and start at the center and then move towards the end and just take my time to clean all of this up this is I believe the morphe 105 or 145 brush not sure um, and then I'm just gonna clean up everything and then like the extra concealer that I have that's the one that I'm using towards the front of my brow so start again in the center like I said move towards the end and then you're gonna take the extra that you have and just put it towards the front the less is better it's easy to clean up with less products if it's a slight mistake but once you have you know like a larger mistake it's just going to be a lot of work so i'm going to go in with this black radiance like it's a concealer duo like um thing that they have and i just go ahead and put that on all of the blemishes that i want to cover up and then i go in with two concealer shades just to make sure that i am highlighting under before i go and put my foundation on so here I'm just going ahead and just doing all of that on my nose and then my under eye. And then I just go ahead and put that on my eye, eyes as well, like my eyelids as well, just because I'm not doing any shadows. So it's fine for me. Everything is going to be covered up. I'm using the shade 10.5 to 11 in this tinted moisturizer by L'Oreal. Um, and I just, anytime I'm going for a look that I want to be just flawless and just like really nice and just not too much and not feel cakey and just like overdone this is pretty much what i will go in and do is either this or the fenty foundation which is in the tinted moisturizer that they have as well so i just go ahead and i blend and i blend for like three to six minutes because if it blends you know it's your best friend so i'm gonna go ahead again and go with 145 and 110 in the milani cosmetics concealer and I'm just going to go ahead and highlight points of my face that I want to just kind of bring any light to just attract here. And at some point, y'all going to see, I'm going to look like a ghost, but trust me, it's going to come together. Just trust the process. So I just go ahead and highlight everywhere. And I'm just going to make it sit for a little bit before I go into the blending process. And thumbnail. <laughs> So I'm going to then go ahead with the Make It Last by Melania Cosmetics and I'm just going to spray my face and I'm dipping into the concealer that I have on my face and just going and cleaning up my brows and so 
I'm going like the extra step. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. If you clean up your brows and at this point you're like, nah, my brows are really, really clean. They're precise the way that I wanted to. You don't have to do this process. I just went in and did this process because I wanted it to be even cleaner than it was. And then I'm going to go in with this beauty blender. And I need to say this, my beauty blender is dry. It is not wet. You can go ahead and wet yours if you want to. However, if you were trying to follow the same process I'm doing, mine is dry. So if you run into anything that you think like your concealers are dried down a little bit too much, just go ahead and spray your face again and then go ahead and blend. So whenever I'm blending my cheek, I'm just blending towards my mouth at this point. Do not blend backwards. You want to blend down towards your lips so that the shade is blended out in that way and not the other way. So I'm doing all of the points that have the less um, least amount of products and I'm going to just basically leave under my eyes for last just because I feel like whenever I do the under eye first, it just kind of gets too cakey and messed up and I have all this extra products that I don't want all over the place kind of like moving around. So I'm going in this with my, I'm going in with this Melania cosmetic. Um, I think it's kind of like one of their pressed powders, and I'm just going to kind of bring a little darkness back into my face. And like I said, I'm gonna look like a ghost because here I'm gonna go ahead again with the Wet n Wild translucent powder, and I'm just putting it in all the spaces that I've highlighted, and I'm just going to make sure that I'm pressing in. On my face at the same time while you're making sure you're gonna just like leave it so you're baking but you're also pressing in and the excess that's left is just being baked on top so that's all you pretty much have to do just make sure that you're pressing it into the areas that you have highlighted and then the extra is just staying on top and I do that to all of the points and then we're gonna move on to the part that I think is really fun and bring the whole looks to look together so I'm going in this with this morphe bronzer and this is the trailblazer and I'm just gonna go and warm up my face with all of the areas that I know that I want to bring the dimension back so Obviously with all the highlight, it's gonna take away a lot of the shade that's in your face. And this is the goal to just kind of avoid putting any type of, I'm basically not contouring. So I'm skipping that process. And so my bronzers are basically the points that are gonna bring the warmth back to my face. And so I'm just going in and just making sure I'm taking my time to do that. And then I'm gonna go in with this Juvia's place and I'm gonna press both and I'm gonna warm up my cheek all the way around the center of my face. And so, be generous with this it is fine um it brings just the warmth back to your face and it doesn't create this harshness like what it would create if you would have did like a um a contour instead of just like you know just bronzing so pretty much that's all i'm doing just making sure i'm taking my time to just do that and just warming up my face and i'm gonna go back in again with the morphe trailblazer i'm dusting everything off and i'm using the trailblazer as a point to basically bring in that warmth because it's kind of close to my skin tone to get rid of any of the ashiness that's there but it's still gonna keep that highlighted effect that i'm going for on my face so you're just going to dust every single thing off and just going to keep doing it, making sure that you're adding and packing to, until you get the desired look that you are going for. Um, like I, I'm doing right here, just making sure that you're patting it in and it's just going to create that dimension that it is that you're going for. I'm going to go back in again with the bronzer from Juvia's Place. I'm going to focus on kind of like contouring quote unquote my nose, but I'm just focusing on the bronzer with doing that. So once I'm finished, I drown my face. I'm not even going to lie. Um, I really go hard with doing that. And then at this point, you don't have to do this part, but the girls that get it, get it. The girls that don't, don't. And I'm just going to go ahead and do like my highlight and any of my um blush that i want to do and then making sure that i put my lashes on and you could just make any small tweaks or anything that it is that you want to do at this point here so i'm just focusing on just like the blushing of my face and my highlight and that's pretty much it
this is the final makeup look. This is for the simple, I don't wanna do no contouring. I just want to do something that still just look clean. It's just like minimalistic amount of products. And I think this is it, like, I think this is it. Yeah, this is for no eyeshadow, nothing. Like, especially if you like, say you wanna go to work and you wanna do stuff, but you don't wanna do too much. Like, I think this is like the go-to. You can change lashes if you want. Obviously, you don't wear any, but let me know what you think. Let me know if you tried it. Let me know if some of the techniques I do are things that you do too. But yeah, so thank y'all so much for watching. It's a funny girl. I hope y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. See how you feel